You can see I've already got the software installed, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly where you need to go in order to, uh, to do all this. There we go. Um, let's see here. All right, so just basically over here to the SMC website. Click on ESC. Click on ESC and firmware instructions. And you can just download all this stuff right here. You just go ahead, the best way to do this is just to go ahead and click on it, click save link as, and then you just go ahead and pick your desktop. So for instance, save link as, I would pick, obviously I've already had a little folder, but you just click on desktop and then I created a little folder and I just saved it right into there. So that's all I did. And uh, when you're all done downloading that stuff, you'll just come to your desktop, click on SMC, uh, open up the actual SMC link. It'll open a little folder for you guys and then uh, you can go ahead and install it from there. So anyways, once you get to that point, then you go ahead and you click on this link right here and it'll open up the window. Now, they actually supply you with this little adapter right here. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, it basically just plugs right in. And uh, so you just go ahead and plug this right into the USB port of the computer. And then you unplug it from your receiver and you plug this right in with the, with the corresponding colors matching. So you just plant black, black, white, white, red, red, and, and boom, you're in. And then you'll see that it connects right up to the actual speed control. And so now you can go in here, you can make all your changes. You can change all your running mode and the throttle and brake profile, boost and turbo and all that stuff. But something I thought I would show you how to do is actually update the firmware. So right now this already has the latest firmware on it. But if you were going to actually update the firmware, you'd come over here to where it says firmware update. And you click on this button here, it says update. Now it's gonna ask you for a firmware file and we've already downloaded that from the website in this little folder. So you can see that it's asking for an XUP file and that's what we have. So we'll go ahead and click open and it will go ahead and take just a minute or two here and it'll actually update the firmware. Now it's not gonna change the number right here because we already have the latest firmware. But if this were say 1.1 and we were putting in 1.3, this is where you would see the change take place. All right, done and done. Just that simple. So that's how you update, that's how you either control the settings on the speed control or update your firmware on the SMC ESC. Hey, by the way, before you leave, I just wanna say thanks again for watching my videos. I only make these videos so that we can have fun together. By the way, you'd be doing me a big favor if you could either comment, like, or even better, subscribe to my channel. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.